This is a proof from Euclid's Elements, Book 1, Proposition 26, the angle-side-angle -angle congruence theorem for triangles. We're given two triangles, A, B, C, and D, E, F. The angle B is congruent to the angle at E. Side B, C is congruent to side E, F. The angle at C is congruent to the angle at F. Now, this is a proof by contradiction. Assume for a moment that side AB is not congruent to side DE. Well, one of these sides must be longer than the other, and we'll assume, without loss of generality, that AB is longer than DE. So we'll construct a point on triangle ABC on the side AB. We'll call that point G, and we'll choose the point G so that BG is equal in length to DE. We know we can do that by Proposition 2, Length Transfer. We'll mark these two sides as having the same length, and furthermore, we'll connect this vertex G to the side C. By side angle side, we have two congruent triangles, GBC and DEF. And now we'll mark a pair of congruent angles, GCB and DFE. So now we have this angle, GCB, Notice that it's smaller than the angle ACB. Here we have a contradiction, because GCB is equal to DFE. DFE, in turn, is equal to ABC. So we have an angle which is smaller than something which is equal to itself. Therefore, our initial assumption that AB was not the same length as DE, that assumption that allows us to construct that point G, was incorrect. Therefore, AB is the same length as DE, and the two triangles are in fact congruent by side-angle side.